Jesse Greist, and I am a sixth grade teacher here at the Cloud Forest School during the days. Um, many times at night and on the weekends, I uh, earn some extra cash as a folk musician here in town in Monteverde, Costa Rica. This is my professional guitar. This is the guitar that my students never get to touch. Um, it is a Seagull. I got it uh, 17 years ago, and um, it was actually not even new then. It was a used guitar that had been a floor model before that. So my best guess is this guitar is about 21 or 22 years old. Um, I bought it in Connecticut. It's an amazing guitar. It's a fantastic guitar. Um, when I first purchased it, um, it had one flaw in its design, which was that they did not use enough adhesive to hold the bridge down. So I had to do a repair right away, um, which was done by a wonderful uh, um, guitar repair guy in Connecticut and since then I've had zero problems with it. It's been a wonderful guitar. This guitar has traveled with me to um, Western Africa um, so it's been in desert climates. It spent a year with me in India. Um, it spent a little while in South America in Ecuador and Colombia and now it has been here for three years in Costa Rica. The climate here is very challenging. Um, I did a series of interviews for Gearwire last year uh, where I talked about some of the, the problems that we've had with mold and moisture, um, some of the extreme temperature shifts. Um, the main thing that I do with this guitar, it's actually held up incredibly well. I've had no major uh, problems with any kind of warping or anything like that. Um, however, the main thing that I've had to do with this guitar is to keep, it, keep the moisture away from it. Um, it has a soft finish here which has, you know, it's got all these character marks. Most of this actually came when a friend of mine that plays in a punk band used it for a week. But aside from that, it has had some troubles with some of the finish coming off on the neck. And on the back here, I don't know if you can see, there's a little bit of um, discoloration that's come off just from the, the oils from my hands and whatnot over the years. Um, what I do to counter that is uh, about once a week, I will give it a rub down with mineral oil. Um, and so I, you know, get just the cheap mineral oil that you can get um, at a drugstore or whatever, and I'll put it just a little bit on a cloth and give it like a couple of, couple of rub downs. And that mineral oil gets into the wood, really restores the, the shine of the finish, and kind of gives it a protective barrier as the week rolls on against the elements. There is absolutely no guitar repair um, anywhere on this mountain. So um, if anything happens to it, I am pretty much uh, screwed until the next time I can go back um, to either uh, San Jose and find someone down there or back to the United States. And I have a few people up there that I trust to do my guitar repair. got a pretty good tone to it. I really like the, uh, the low end on these seagulls. Um, I've always been very impressed by uh, the size of the body. It fits very comfortably with me, but also it's just got a, such a good resonance. And I think a lot of that is that soft finish that they put on there. Um, even though, like I say, it gets these character marks and, you know, with the pick over the years, it's kind of, I can show this here, that it's, I've almost completely eaten away right around the bottom of the sound hole there. Um, it has, uh, I still think that the tone of the guitar is just absolutely fabulous. When it's got new, um, when it's got new strings on it, it just sounds like a dream. <laughs>